Okay, as you know, in the Beijing conference, they have we have uh, set out a target of about 30% women's participation at all levels. If you take the Malaysian scenario, you'll find that in the upper house, uh, that is in the Senate, we are we have reached that target. But when you look at the lower house, where it comprises elected representatives, there's only about 11 to 12 percent. So I think we are far behind the target, and a lot more has to be done. Of course, this will depend on the willingness of uh, the component parties at the various level, particularly in the constituencies, to accept a woman as a candidate. And the woman herself should not be there because uh, of, uh, of gender reasons, but because she's the most qualified uh, to be the candidate in that respective area. Yes, the pattern of voting in Malaysia up to now has been more along party lines rather than gender lines. So if they favor a particular party, it doesn't really matter who the candidate is, male or female, uh, they will get the support. So the parties have to work really hard to get the support. And of course, party leadership has to be convinced by women members that they need to accept and put up more ladies for office. Of course, I set up a foundation for women, Yaya and Social Wanita Malaysia. That will be a vehicle for us to attract funds. Mm -hmm. We have not really moved aggressively to uh, seek funds, but uh, it took a while, but the foundation has been set up. Uh, we also placed a lot of emphasis on uh, skills training for women, because I find that uh, many Indian women fall in the poverty group. And we need to work very, very hard to lift them out of the trap. Rather than just referring them and get, getting them welfare aid, it's much more meaningful to teach them a skill or a trade whereby they're able, able to stand on their own two feet, to be independent, to give them that dignity of life. We also presented a memorandum to the Minister of uh, Women, uh, Family and Community Development. Uh, we have not received any positive feedback yet. Uh, there has been a change of minister and we are seeking an appointment with uh, the new minister, Yang Rahmat Atushri Sharisa, to do a follow-up on that. Uh, in my last term, managed to have an understanding with the Ministry of Women, whereby we will place Indian women as project chari officers in a few states. And I'm happy to say we have 19 such appointments. They are part and parcel of the Jabatan Kebajikan at the Welfare Office at the district level. And wherever, wherever these Indian women are, they do a very fine job. They don't just work 9 to 5, they work till 10 p.m. They work uh, on the weekends. Their job is to go down on the field and identify and bring the government to the people, bring the aid to these people. This year, I must thank the Minister of Human Resources. Uh, I was quite successful. Uh, he agreed to sponsor 500 Malaysian Indian women for training. And uh, he asked me to coordinate among a number of groups. And we came up with uh, 10 core areas. Basically, uh, short-term skills training, which will not take more than three months. Uh, I worked together with the Malaysian Hindu Sangha Women Section, also with Putri MIC, and also with the singles group uh, single mothers NGO. Mm -hmm. So from the 500 places, 100 each was allocated to Putri MIC, to Malaysian Hindu Sangam and to the other NGO. And 200 places uh, we kept for ourselves, Wanita MIC. And this uh, 200 places was has been distributed from police right up to Johor. Elections are generally the prerogative of the Prime Minister. Anytime he feels ready, uh, of course, if he says go, it's a good time for us. But elections are very expensive. I'm sure that uh, the Prime Minister will think deeply and consult others before he proceeds. We will definitely put up a, a list uh, for the consideration of the President. Mm -hmm. But in all these matters, it's ultimately the final decision rests with the President of MIC. If we can learn something from the March 2008 was uh, the influence of the new media, or the alternate media, uh, uses of which are predominantly young people. And for the first
first time I saw young people influencing the parents rather than the other way around. So it's not a matter of choice, it's a matter of survival. We need to include young people at all levels. MIC was not the biggest uh, casualty, we were not the biggest. We didn't lose the most number of seats. Uh, and uh, someone who has taken part in eight by-elections since last year, March, within a span of about a year and a half or so, uh, excluding the one in Sarawak, nine, you can take out that's eight. I can see a very, very tangible, perceptive uh, shift in the support of Malaysian Indians towards MIC and towards BN. We had a very large rebranding exercise. Last month we had another seminar on a sense of urgency, the need to do things for the people and to move in a timely manner because uh, nowadays you can't wait too long because we are working as if the general election is around the corner. One Malaysia concept is good and I hope everyone supports it. I, would, I do. Again, we cannot. Uh, trust the entire responsibility on the Prime Minister's shoulders. I should say that each and every Malaysian has a role to play, has, uh, should take ownership of this concept and uh, rather than treat it as a joke or treat it lightly, they should take it very seriously and ask what, I mean, each of us should ask what is it that we can do to make this a reality so that Malaysia is a good place for all Malaysians. Personally, I like Datu Sri Najib's style. It's very decisive. As a Prime Minister, you can see suddenly he turns up in the order's places he's with his walkabouts. To me, that conveys an uh, impression that he's willing to hear the problems of the people firsthand. You can see the stimulus package, for example, the economic side to lift the economy. On the racial component side, you can see the money for Tamil schools. We never had that kind of a large allocation. Uh, vernacular schools in general, Chinese schools as well. They're not perturbed, unduly disturbed by the emergence. I don't really think they are a threat. Because the network that MIC have, we are like in every nook and corner and estate and town. And it will take them a while to catch up. Ultimately, I mean, the, the customer is king, isn't it? It depends who can offer better service. So we take it as a challenge. We are up to it. We are ready. Uh, we are doing everything in our power to upgrade ourselves. Uh, we are excited. But we don't worry too much about it. I mean, we, we don't think that, you know, they're out there to topple us. Uh, in fact, if possible, we should uh, try to find a way to work together. And I, I'm happy to see the trend where we are moving towards an era where less focus is placed on race and more on need. But that is, has to be something that's really genuine and not, not just lip service. And if everyone can feel that way, then I think uh, politics has got a very bright future in Malaysia. I think the higher up you go, you have to accept that uh, personal time is really not all that much. But it all depends on the person. Uh, you have, need to find what energizes you. So I find that what I do, my political work, energizes me so that it's not like I'm coming to work, it's something that I enjoy. So I don't really need much balance and don't need much uh, time for relaxation. This is, this is it, I'm happy. Well, I've got a new hobby now, cooking. Mm -hmm. So that's how I de-stress in the kitchen. Ambition is to see Juanita move uh, more definitively. We need to work a lot more on the vision. We did hire, a, we had a consultant that was only at the national level. I would like to see this idea debated more at the state and uh, division levels. I would like to have uh, ownership for our movement coming from all levels of uh, the movement, not just a few uh, leaders. Our leadership camps will no longer comprise just the division of women leaders. We will take at least uh, funds per meeting, two or three per division, to make sure that the information percolates down.
Um, maybe the downs have not been up much, but uh, I could say perhaps one of the ups was could be when I became a member of parliament for Kappa in 1999. And when I became the Parliamentary Secretary for the Ministry of Education in the year 2004. I was the first Malaysian Indian woman in government, in the Parliamentary Secretary. And I was the first MIC member in the Ministry of Education. So, yeah, there are two first, something I suppose I can be proud of. And I thank the President for his confidence in me.